Hey viewer, so in the now, you've been using your superpower, okay? You've been using your superpower and in your past life, or what they want you to know, this little snippet I'm going to tell you from your past, okay? It's like a huge cycle. Actually, this could be the now. Either way, take it as it resonates. This is your past life messages, okay? This is what they want you to know. Um, I feel like the past is speaking to you. That's the title of this reading. Hold on one second. Whoever you are, the past is speaking to you. Okay, so there's a huge cycle that's coming to an end, okay? You're receiving spiritual closure, all right? Ooh, and this is for things that happened that you didn't even know happened, okay? Your little innocent self, whoever you are, I feel like you're very innocent um, or you're just very lighthearted, like spirited, okay? You could like love everybody, okay? You're like, I love everybody, like fuck it, let's party. You're like that type of vibe. Um, you would enjoy residing in a world where there was no violence, okay? Um, there was no hate, no hate crimes, no hate magic, things like that, okay? Um, but anyway, a huge cycle is coming to an end, and you're receiving spiritual closure. And the spiritual closure you're receiving is here for some things that occurred unbeknownst to you, okay? Taurus. Something about a Taurus is significant. Taurus's reading title was... Let them watch. Okay. I need to write that that was Taurus. Hold on. Taurus. So let them watch. Now let me see how that resonates and it relates to your energy. The past is speaking to you. The past is like, let them watch. Because for you, you're about to receive spiritual closure. In your case, the ultimate revenge is your healing. Okay, so you're getting revenge just by by healing yourself, like deep healing. Okay, really, really, really deep healing. The more you heal, the more revenge you receive. And it's not so much like that you're vengeful or you're going out like, oh, I want their heads. No, it's not that. It's a vibe where you're going back. You're going back. This is past life regression energy. They could want you to go back. They're like, go back to go forward type of vibes, okay? So you possibly already went back, okay, um, to your past life. You probably already visited the time when you were on the ship, okay, because you were a sailor in your past life, okay? And it's a vibration where, I don't know, shipwreck happened, okay? The crew went, the ship went down, okay? Scorpio energy, investigate, okay? The reading title, the investigator um of is, is very significant okay um but anyway it's a vibration where the ship went down in the past in the past life okay this is giving me like titanic vibes okay like the ship sunk okay um you could have lost a lot of possessions you could have lost some friends you could have lost um your life okay um, for someone, you have a fear of water, Scorpio, okay, because of the drowning incident that happened in a past life or in your past, like someone could have drowned as a child, okay, I'm sorry, my condolences if that's the case, okay, um, maybe you witnessed that as a child um, and it just kind of gave you a fear of water or maybe you almost drowned, okay, um, okay, you could have had dreams of drowning, something significant about drowning, but anyway, um, and being on a ship, okay, Popeye Sailor Man type vibes, all right, um, but it's this vibe where because you went back to the past and you assisted with the repairs of the ship, you assisted with the repairs of the lighting, you assist, assisted with the repairs of the statues and how they were laying on their side, you lifted them up, you stood them upright, this is giving me the energy of a reading, okay, a past life progression reading. Um, and this is what I saw in a vision. They're taking me there, but they're showing it that basically in a past life, you did the work to, to stand the ship back up. Or even you could have been like the type that like goes diving, okay, An underwater diver, deep sea diver, okay, and you dive and you search for treasures, okay. It's like the greatest treasure for you though, Scorpio, that you have found recently is yourself, okay. That's like the, the greatest jewel of the sea, okay, under the sea, all right. <laughs> Take it as a resonates, Scorpio. 
But um, so in your case, the ultimate ultimate revenge is your healing. You're the ship, Scorpio. You're the ship that went down in the past. Okay. And in this case, what your enemies tried to take from you or from the ship, it's like the ship went down. You had pirates coming in trying to rob you of your riches, you know, rob you of the fine china that was on the uh, 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 Titanic. Um, it's also the energy. Something about Russia. Take it as it resonates. Um, but it's a vibe where I'm hearing Pearl Harbor. Okay, take it as it resonates. I don't know. Somebody, you have a, a family member that, you know, fought in the war in, on Pearl Harbor. Okay. Um, but anyway, basically, it's like you, you, you survived all of that. Or maybe you didn't in a past life. Maybe it, maybe it's, maybe you succumbed to it. Okay. Whatever happened in the past life and whatever harm they intended for you to experience in the past life, okay, Scorpio, for you, it doesn't equate to what they have given you. See, when we go back to the past and we revisit our past life and we we re we change the way we perceive what happened to us in a past life, okay, it's like we get the power back. We get our control back. It's like when we go back okay say this is a pile of money okay they're like oh every time you come back you get to take money with you okay you get a hundred dollars here's a hundred dollars okay it's like bam you get a hundred dollars okay and you get another hundred dollars because you came back and you lifted up the sculptors and you get another hundred dollars because you came back and you shined the floors and you get another hundred dollars because you came back and you repaired the the hole that was in the ship okay from hitting the iceberg and then you get another hundred dollars it's like you just kept going back and you kept healing the things that happened okay meaning in in repairs you made to the ship which are you you're the ship you're the titanic the repairs that you made to the titanic the repairs you made to yourself the ship the titanic you got money you got some past life money coming to you scorpio okay something about wednesday is significant you got some past life ends coming in. Royalties, okay? Saved up money, all right? For the losses. So what they've given you, even though, yes, they destroyed your ship. Yes, they sunk your battleship, Scorpio. But you, you learned how to sail. You learned how to sail. Scorpio, okay, so you learned how to sail. Because if you were sailor of the ship, okay, sailor of you, all right, ruler of you, and you failed or you sunk, you went under, you could have lost a lot. Somebody here, you were on Wall Street when you were, um, when you were in a past life, okay, you worked on Wall Street, all right, and when the stock market was new, it was fresh, all right, and you were investing and you went under, okay, and in going under, you lost a lot of money and it set you back, but it's like all of the setbacks because of your ability to look at it like, you know, it's okay. Yeah, my ship sunk, but you know what? I learned strength. Yeah, my ship sh sunk. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, my sh something else. Anyway, yeah, my ship sunk. It's like, but I learned how to go around the iceberg now. I know, you know, keep the right people in the watchtower. I know that's like keeping the right company around you. People that are going to be alert, wise, aware. It's like you learned. You learned your faith. You found your faith. You found strength. So I did a reading recently, Scorpio, and I was talking about like, and sorry if I'm boring y'all, but this is what the divine wants to talk about, okay? So if this ain't for you, that's cool. Just politely click off, okay? And I'll catch you in the next one. But anyway, um, if you're sticking with me, cool. Um, Scorpio is basically like the vibe I did in the in this reading that I did the other day. And it was about, give it back to me, spirit, because I lost my train of thought. Hold on. Bring it back. Dang, it's gone. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. 
<laughs> it went right out the window. It's gone. But anyway, the divine wanted me to tell you, hashtag you won, motherfucker. Okay? <laughs> it's like, fuck all that stuff. <laughs> you won. That's what they want you to know. Okay? The past is speaking to you. You won, motherfucker. I'm going to take the one that's showing on top. Toil and labor. Yeah, you, you put in a lot of work. Okay? But you're journeying away from, from that. You're journeying away from the poverty mindset, poverty mentality. The fear of drowning. You're like, I'm free from that because I've already drowned. So I've already overcome drowning. I already know what it feels like to drown. I already know what it feels like to tank. I already know what it feels like to go under. So you can't harm me. It's like Scorpio, you've already experienced that in the past. So in the now, they can't harm you. They cannot harm you with the fear that you might lose it all. Okay? Because you've already lost it all in the past. You already know what that feels like, okay? The number 11 is here. The number 38. The number 8. It's like you've already had nice cars, nice houses, um, nice clothes. You already know what it feels like to, to have everything and lose it all, okay? And now that you've, you've hit that bottom, okay, it's like maybe somebody was trying to play on that. They're like, oh, in a past life, Scorpio lost it all. Let's make them fear, make them feel like they're going to lose it all again, okay? But it's like, Scorpio, your present self? has reflected okay through some past life progressions on what losing it all looks like what losing it all feels like and you've turned the tables because you didn't let it you didn't you didn't become the victim you don't have a victim mentality nor did you let it control you or your healing you were like no okay that was a thing that i was a part of that was a thing that happened that was a thing that i witnessed but it's not who i am as a person that's not who my heart is that's not who who my actions deem me to be so these blessings these royalties that are coming in for you now you're going to be able to appreciate them so much more because of the simple fact that you you know you deserve them you deserve it. That's what I'm hearing, okay? You deserve it. Mm, timeless in your energy. Okay, we got Missy Elliott, drip demeanor. Oh, because you ain't dripping, you're drenching. Okay, take it as a resignate. All right, we got um, drip demeanor featuring someone. Um, so check that song out by Missy Elliott, okay? And the other song that they have for here. Oh, the angels are blowing the horn for you. This is the angelic horn. King Selassie first. Pressure bust pipes. That's what they were thinking, though. They were thinking that for you, they were going to apply this pressure. It's about the mind. Somebody could have been trying to control you mentally by your past life. Okay. And in the now, you're like, wait a minute. I already overcame all that shit. I've been through that before. Oh, I've seen that before. That can't trigger me. Okay. It's a vibe like that. Because you've already seen it, it can't control you. It can't trigger you. It has no, no authority, okay? I'm hearing the devil is not welcome here, okay? It's all about bad boys, bad boys, okay? The devil is not welcome here. He don't let nobody touch his camera. <laughs> Take it as a resonance, all right, Scorpio? <laughs> he don't let nobody touch his camera. Somebody been watching bad boys. Oh, Scorpio, I'm just going to take this one off the top. Mm, mm, mm. I can't remember what other sign got hidden knowledge. But anyway, I'm going to show you this. There's another sign that got this. If you happen to watch that reading, okay, this confirmation that, yeah, that's for you. Okay, but this right here is for you, for real. Idyllic times, okay? This is you tapping into the garden. The garden, and this is also you tapping into paradise, okay? You're very wise, Scorpio. The reason I say you're very wise is because you learned from your past. You turned your losses into lessons. So now you're about to see these blessings, okay? Don't play with me. The butterfly energy is here as well. So you could have been seeing a lot of owls, butterflies, okay? Lions, okay? Something about a Leo could be very significant. Ooh, and an eagle, okay? You, are, you flying with the eagles. How they say, um... Okay, I got it. They're giving me the lyric off of Holy Gabbana, uh, um, Holy Flow by Gabbana. And he says, I got the heart of the lion, okay? Mentality of an eagle. 
okay and i said that because you have an eagle facing a lion here at the bottom of this card all right mentality of the eagle and the heart of a lion scorpio that's what you got going on okay but you got the wisdom of the owl yes okay i'm hearing put them on ice scorpio put them on ice You could get news of a death, Scorpio. You could find out that someone's passed away or someone's lost something. Advice for Scorpio. Thank you, angels and spirit guys. All right. This is your cosmic power. Okay? This is your cosmic power. Remember, you have cosmic authority and power over anybody who tries to betray you. At the end of the day, they end up harming themselves. And that's the other vibration. See, they be trying to take from you. They be trying to harm you, Scorpio. But then they end up, like, you end up winning because you're still standing. Okay? It's like the more pain they try to cause you, the more devastation they see. Okay? The past is speaking to you, Scorpio. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. If you did, like, share, comment, or subscribe. And Scorpio, I will see you in the next one. Bye.